Hi y'all, I'm back for vlog number four. Um, I know I've been out or not doing vlogs for a couple months now. Uh, trying to live my best life and getting myself back on track. So um, going right back to where I left off. I'm doing vlog number four of my book talk and that book is The Lovely Bones and this is the cover. As you can tell there's a lot of wear and tear to my book. Um, when I read this book I was in grad school. Um, I got caught in the rain a couple of times with this book as you can tell with the wear and tear of it. It's really crinkly. Um, so it's about Susie, a 14 year old girl who got murdered by her neighbor, her next door neighbor. Um, the night of her murder, I believe, she was also raped by her neighbor. Uh, her neighbor was named Mr. Harvey. He was the one that raped her. Um, I'm not too sure. I don't remember if he raped her like several times or if it was just that one time and then murdered her. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, but the book was written in Susie's point of view. So it was, you know, uh, spoken in like third party, I think. Like third person. Um, you know, she was able to accept, Susie was able to accept her death. But her family was not able to. Because, you know, obviously they don't know who murdered her. Or at least they didn't know yet. Um, so, I read this, I initially read this book in middle school, um, couldn't get into it, I couldn't get past the first 100 pages then, um, and then I picked it up again in grad school, um, and when I reread it again, I was able to actually love and enjoy the book, the whole content, um, yeah, let me know in the comments of what you think about the lovely bones. Um, how old were you when you read The Lovely Bones and what you thought of it and my ratings were 5 out of 5 especially the second time I read it so like, share, follow for more TikTok or book talks um, and comment your reviews on how you thought of The Lovely Bones okay, bye